is the final Horror Nights update here before next week, the start of HHN. You see here behind me, the sign is up, the neon sign, and I'm going to turn you around here. The medallion is up, ready to go. We got a lot of stuff covered here. There it is, the dates and everything going on. Outside the gate, also on the archway, they do have the posters for some of the houses up as well. Dr. Oddfellas has a stagecoach set up out here. Uh, no horse or anything, but it is looking awesome. Bat up top. Spider web wheels, like dragon hands holding those lights there. Props and stuff out here. What's interesting is this literally flows right into the Zodiac Scare Zone over there as well. And this is where the Today Cafe is. So I'm wondering is if the opening ceremonies are going to be here on this stage and you have to stay in the Stay and Scream Zone over here in the Today Cafe to see it. But at the same time, if you look down over here at the main entrance, there's giant, three giant speakers over there. So I have a feeling something may happen there and up there at the same time. I'm gonna walk down into the Zodiac Zone and get those updates over there. Uh, I'm gonna save New York for last because the new tribute store facade is up over there and it's an easy way for <laughs> us to get out of the park and walk straight up to the exit. There's definitely no mistaking that this is the Dark Zodiac Zone because it literally says it right there. Like chains and stuff on the, the banner too. All the design going on here. Whenever you see something covered here for HHN during the day, that only means that they're portraying something died in there or something really gross is in there. Well, it's no different over here in this zone. This barrel right here definitely has a cover, which we don't know what's in there yet, but you can see there is strings here, and when I pull them, there's a counter rig going on over there. So that only means that this is going to pull up whatever's dead in there. We added these barrels out here, more over here. On the sides, there was it's coming along. It's, I think they still got some work to do out here, but it's definitely coming along. Beetlejuice out here meeting and greening today, but it's all right. They're gonna we're gonna ignore the ghost with the most right now. This right here, this is actually doing stuff here as well. I'm gonna turn this, get off of me, and show you guys what I'm talking about here in a second. So I showed you that this is going to literally spray like some kind of water or, or blood or something down here because the whole collection area here this way the scare actor doesn't trip also got the uh, trigger here as well activate all this stuff here I also forgot to show you on the other one over there if you see like right there that's definitely going to have some flames spinning out of it as well. I can really appreciate them using different elements with that. Uh, the water, the fire. So, it's definitely, definitely coming along there. I can't wait to see what else they put into that scare zone. Um, I know we before have said like, oh, HHN doesn't feel like HHN, whatever. I'm not going to lie, like this week, it started to really become a reality to me and that it's it's go time so I'm just appreciative of having an event that I can come to here in Orlando such as HHN maybe good maybe bad but realistically it's an awesome event either way the jungle zone is <laughs> looking jungly very very jungly we got these lights up here on this stage might be some kind of sacrifice or something. You see up there, the uh, parachute's still there. Plane's still over here. It's looking, uh, it's 
looking spooky. Here's my issue with this scare zone. It is too tight. It is too crammed together. There's two flows of people coming in and out of here. You got one's coming from, you know, by Mel's. The other's coming down over here uh, by uh, ET. Coming in here, and during HHN, this gets to be a big bottleneck. I don't know how they can fix it or whatever, but it's just gonna be chaotic in here because it's, it's further into the center this year than previous years, in my opinion. I don't know, and I don't know. This set, this this doesn't really appeal to me. Hopefully that will change at nighttime when the sets are different and you really can't see much more of the details. Obviously from night and the lighting and all that other stuff. That stuff does have a big factor in how this stuff is made too, so. I'm gonna hold off on my judgment until I see it in person. I will be here for team member preview nights. And we should have one of the first, I'm not gonna say only, because it's never the only, but we will have one of the first looks of HHN in full action on the channel. Portals starting to go up as well. Well, they're not starting, they are up already. So this is one portal here to go down to the houses over here. No, I don't know what the houses are. I know what the houses are, but I don't know what the houses are in their locations around the park. We can only assume by the food booths that are up in the area as well. But I'm gonna leave that for you guys. Leave that down below. Let me know where you think the houses will be. So where I'm turning right by Animal Actors, you can see right here behind me, there's another room stone behind us because they have food over here as well this year. Now, it's a bar and food setup going on over here. I'm <laughs> personally not happy about this because this is usually where I come to escape and sit down over here. And this year, I can't do that. This Previous years, all the benches and tables and stuff were still left out over here. Can't do it this year. So they did move this food trailer over here as well into right outside the Springfield area. You can definitely tell that it's for HHN, obvious reasons. There's usually something over here anyways. So you see exactly where it is to the left of the Springfield sign and right before uh, the donut stand. Now, as far as the rumors of the Megan Horde being around, especially here in the Springfield area, are not confirmed. There is something else that was confirmed, but when we get to the other side of the park, I will go over that. That's, that's the confirmed thing. You guys probably already know what I'm talking about because Universal already has discussed and released that already. But for Megan, nothing's been released yet. In the Coca-Cola store right next to Men in Black is getting into the Halloween vibe this year as well. You got spooky Coke cats and Coke bottle bats and atomic pumpkins. And you're like, wait, so you're back by Men in Black. There's usually scare uh, entrances back here as well. Well, yeah, you're right. There, this, this though, I think this is gonna be the exit for the two houses back here. I'm gonna explain that in here, just to show you what I'm talking about. Cause you got one entrance here that goes into one house, the closer house back here. And there's another entrance over on the other side of Men in Black over by the um, stage show, um, the Nightmare Fuel show where it will lead you all the way around back at Men in Black, backstage, to the other house. The same as we did for Bug House that year. And if that's the same pattern that they're following, this was the exit for both houses. I don't know if you can see behind me too, right over here, that the Men in Black sign is actually getting a refurb as well. We have HHN staff out here training today. This is right outside of Nightmare Fuel. You can see them. Those are the house attendants and the attend they're not scare actors. 
speaking of nightmare fuel, just like I said, is true for that other house entrance that is in the back behind Man in Black. It's right here. Right there, there it is. So, this is what I was talking about. You go in this one, you go into the other one that was over here, closer to us, and then you come out the bigger archway for both of these houses to the exit. And transform this food stand into a Halloween Horror Nights food stand. With the Never go alone. Never go alone. It's gonna be a, just a drink stand here. Got some beer on tap back there. It's nightly. Nightly during the event is uh, nightmare fuel. There's no times up yet. Once we get times, we'll definitely let you guys know what those are. It's a Universal Monster food booth over here. The same that they've used last year. If you guys are interested in the food that's at HHM this year, they are doing a Taste of Terror going on. We didn't do it. They felt it was a little too pricey and out of our price range to do that. But there are other YouTube channels out here. Um, I know like Tim Tracker has done it and other bigger channels did the whole Taste of Terror review. So you can go check it out if you haven't already. We're on the other side of the park, opposite of where I was, purposely did that. I don't know if you guys noticed that. Yep, literally right there in Simpsons when we talked about Megan and now confirmed is right over here. What a coincidence that I did that. So the confirmed is the Death Eaters are going to be inside the Diagon Alley for HHM. Nothing special. We knew it was coming. We already showed you guys this whole setup for it. And it's going to be fun. So. I don't know how exactly it's going to work in there, but I'm imagining that if you use Diagon Alley as an escape from HHN, you still might be able to. They really, the Death Eaters aren't intense. They're just a fun element that they add, you know, from the Harry Potter universe for the Halloween season. And they're really not too intense. They may tell them to amp it up a little more for HHN. Again, not sure. Buddy. Hey, hey, man, what, what? What's going on? Ah, uh, you know what, Nuts, man, just hanging around. Oh, I know, like yeah. usual. Hey, so remember yeah. last time I saw you, right? Okay. I asked you about the Death Eaters coming over here. Death who? The Death Eaters the coming. The Death Eaters coming over yeah. here. So, uh, what do you think now? Uh-oh. I don't like, like that idea, got man. less than a week, man. I don't like that idea, man. Well, Hopefully the driver come back by then. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hopefully they get you the heck out of here, man. I don't like no Death Eaters, man. Do you like Death Eaters? Uh, listen, I, I I try to stay away from trouble. I see your arm there. You got some ink on that. What is that? You got any death marks on there? No. Dark marks on there? No? Okay. No, no we're good. Just that, right? We're, yeah, we're good. Cool, cool. cool. So, uh, I don't know, man. Listen, if you get ahead in the situation here, let me know, all right? I will. I'll let you know ahead see of time. See what I did there. <laughs> ah. Later, buddy. All right, man. Universal is definitely making uh, Horror Nights party time this year. If you can see behind me what's going on, you'll understand why. They're teaming up with Peacock. I'm bringing you a whole bar set up over here. Bunch of lights and stuff going on over here. Look at this photo op going here too. Yeah, see what I'm talking about? This area is gonna be off the hook. They're talking about my homeboy. Yes, my homeboy, David S. Pumpkins. Coming over here to party with y'all and do his pumpkin thing because he can. He's his own thing. It's awesome running into other YouTubers out here. So the guys I just ran into, what up? Thank you for uh, stopping with us and chatting. Hanging out over here in the San Francisco area. There's this beast of a truck. We know what this truck is. We've seen this truck previous years, especially last year. This was the truck that was over in the New York section. They just keep changing it, recycling it, and she's just, she stays around. She serves Universal well. We've got little things like this around here too, where it's just animal crates. It's crazy that we actually have things like this right now, like don't open live specimen. 
what are we doing with these? I want to know what we're doing with these crates because I have crazy ideas for things like this. There's multiple animal crates in these zones. There's one. There's two right there. Um, you got this giant thing right here where you're gonna probably have somebody in there. There's a lot of things going on here. It is just crazy. This cage, all this stuff over here. You still got the erector set up as well. The what I'm the crane that I'm calling an erector set. Then this here. Like, what is going on? Why do we got feathers and hay? This is nuts. Is that Absolutely true? nuts. Inside Fast and Furious, there's another portal over here as well. So, meaning that there's another house over here, right? Like we already discussed, but what's going on here? Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm not really, really too sure what might might be going over here. I'm, I don't know. Any guess? Let me know. It's kind of like weighing on my shoulder right now. What 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 may be here? And then, last but not least, which you've all probably been waiting for, Fam 69 scares on. I, I, I don't, I want to see it operate before I just say I don't like it, but this is one of the zones that I am not looking forward to. I'm going to put it out there to you guys. Hate me or not, it's fine. Just a bunch of groovy, hippie, stoner, mushroom eating group going on over here. Now there are additional props to this stair zone on the back side of Louis by the team member entranceway over here. This is what I'm talking about. These are not working vehicles. They literally have forklift um, points on them. You can see that they're probably gonna open up too because they are latch closed here. So you probably have people in here as well. There's a bunch of cigarettes and blood beer up here and food wrappers and Everything that you would need for a road trip to a music festival. And this is the biker gang car here too. Some stage stairs. The uh, old Volkswagen Beetle bus here. thermos in there some old car parts you know you know just weight reduction you know an old Herbie style looks like this is gonna open up too oh it's definitely a covered up body you can see the legs down there and the silhouette of the head yeah, it's all about the hippiness. These also have their own license plate to it too. And come on. Remember how I just said about, you know, they're all tripping out? Yeah, come on bro. This scare zone actually has a change. I don't know if it's for HHN for the change or if it's a permanent change to the park but over here on the side of this building here this used to be a, a rock wall here it's gone we go down sting alley since we're over here as well um sting alley is actually really really well decorated this year um, there's a lot of stuff going on in here related to the last of us there's a food booth in here uh this exit here so it looks like you're going out this way into the New York section. There's a lot of a lot of things going on here. So like food crates and stuff. Like this is supposedly where you 
get your uh, rations and stuff with fedora. Alright, so as you see what Sting Alley has, it's just it's just a food booth. Nothing else other than that in there. Nothing really, really special. It's just awesome theming. It's what they've been doing down there for these events. Now, Mardi Gras did the same thing. Halloween Horror Nights last year did the same thing. We got this big ass hippie van bus out here as well. Go to the music fest. So, this being in the New York section is themed to a music festival that took place in New York City in 1969. Let's stop calling it that. Let's just call it what it is. This is themed to Woodstock, okay? We all know what happened at Woodstock. It's like Vegas. What happens at Woodstock stays at Woodstock. The music stage over here is definitely going to have some kind of show. Again, the cover tarps again, right? We all know what that means. We already went through that. Because, if you don't believe me, literally see a hand sticking out from over here from the keyboard. Something going on down there. Across the stage here, see behind me right now. This is where the new tribute store is going to be. It's not so much a new tribute store location, it's a returning tribute store location, but tribute store general is actually a comic shop that is over here in the New York section of this park going to be this year's HHN Tribute Store. Returning to here, I don't know why we're returning here. I liked it over in the other location, which is whatever. This, it's fine. Um, they claim that this is bigger. I don't see how it is. The only thing bigger about this location is that it has the hallways in it, which, okay, sure. I'm gonna go over there and actually take a look at that stuff and see what's in the windows. This is a lot of Easter eggs over there as well. And this is what I'm talking about. The Blood Slayers coming in on their bikes, destroying the event. And you can also see too, what I was saying earlier, remember a couple weeks ago, this rigging was well right here where the door would have been, so it would have been blocking everything here. So they did move it over, like I thought they would have, and these lights as well have been moved over to start at the tribute store here from the right to the left. So if you're looking at the tribute store, you see the stage behind me. So if you're my back to the stage, the way I'm facing, your right hand side over here is where I'm starting in those windows, and we're gonna work our way over. They're selling monster magazines. Now, none of this stuff is guaranteed that they're actually selling in these tribute stores. So, I do hope that they are selling that shirt though, because that would be amazing. But Universal is known to make t-shirts up that they don't sell in, in the stores and items too. These comic books are what they are selling for the photos this year, which is like 90 bucks for. Frankenstein there. Some more monster magazines there. A, uh, basically like a creature or something. Glows in the dark. This used to be a tribute store um, side here. I really, really would love for them to sell, like mock up the sides of the tribute stores. That would be awesome. Low stock. Here's a. Uh, these are awesome, like right there. You can find these at conventions and stuff. Really, really classic, like uh, Halloween masks. They actually have a record up there. So awesome. Let's keep moving along here. Tribute Comics proudly sold here is uh, acquired. This is what they're talking about with the. Um, photos that you can take with for the uh, comic book covers this year. I love that. But even better, uh, the garlic on the bottom there next to the vampire mask. That's awesome. Celebrate Halloween in style. Yup. Open seven days a week. Oh, 
we're closed. Man, guess what? They opened up on Wednesday for me. So, I will be here Wednesday for that. For the festival going on over here. Yep, again, you're opening up Wednesday. Vampire Free Establishment. So, here's where we go into some of the uh, Easter eggs. Earl Mardi Gras, Earl the Squirrel and Greg the Llama. Um, spooky Tales with Earl. If you guys see anything, let us know what you see and what the Easter egg is into. Because a lot of these are related to previous houses such as that and this King Kong reference there creature from the Black Lagoon now this is what they need to sell here this is a hundred percent what they need to sell the Halloween Horror Nights mystery game right so this is what the board looks like here. Okay. This is exactly what the board looks like. So, stage 33 is kind of right where we are. So, let me zoom back out here. Let me go over here and look. So, stage 33 is literally right in that back corner over there. Behind these trees where Rocket goes. Right on that, yeah, right there. Rocket just passed stage 33. You see that. This here is the center lagoon. The archway right here. So, what is amazing is that we have how to play. So I'm just gonna keep this up and scroll down a little bit. This way you guys can all see. Now, if they don't make this, I want one of you guys to make this for us if you can. Looks like some of the rules might be missing under that part that we just seen at the crease, but I don't think there's much of it missing. All right, so behind me here now too is more portals to haunted houses. Um, run, boom, and you can see it there by the train station. These are the two houses that lead towards the back of the park here um, that go past the New York Public Library which I will turn around here in a second to show you where it is. Not like you didn't know where it is already, but this is where it is. You go here, and remember how I showed you on that game map where how I said the Star Island Sound Stage 33 was back behind Rocket? Well, it is, because it's right there where the Taste of Terror is in this year. They approve of that too, coming out of that area. Walking here past Jimmy Fallon through New York is the other portal for this area as well. Uh, right here, coming up, there it is, for another haunted house, which is rumored to be Stranger Things. See Rocket right behind me, coming down on the side street past Minging's Cafe over here. They have these food stands set up over here to Surfer Boy Pizza, aka Stranger Things, as well as the Yeti. So, you can tell that the Yeti house is going to be over here, Stranger Things is going to be over here, and other stuff are going to happen this way towards Music Plaza. Not only does Stranger Things have Surf Boy Pizza, they also have this here as well. Right in front of Rocket, the Stellar Bar. And then there's right to the side of Stellar Bar, inside Music Plaza as well, is another portal to a house. You can see the queue lines are already being set up over here in Music Plaza. This year, 
for this food stand here, well, food truck, whatever you want to call it, is telling me that the Midway games are going to be back, so all the carnival games should be set up over here within the next couple days.